It's another mod. Mountains are magic. Not even seven minutes into bed. Let's reference movies. City State Slickers 2. The Legend of Northern Gold. Indiana Jones and the Ruins of an Extra Citizen. Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Kevin Smith? Matt Smith? Will Smith? Oh, his son. That got weird. Let's get back to basics. Double the cities, add three more, fight Washington's hordes, engineer the Church of Smiles. Finally convince George to calm down with the fighting. Claim spare land for Tibet. Triplets, did I mention I went liberty? Have it, claiming every bit, not unnoticed, just continue. Maybe. The plan is to get lots of cities to follow Isabella's religion. It has the tourism boost. Then again, there are great writers left and... Right. A wide range of religions means holidays all year round. Happy Thanksgiving. The cathedral can host a grand opening pancake breakfast. Isabella begins the war that lasts forever. Gandhi gets some to bet, but not for free. Resisting invasion is a bit easier when there are mountains. It would be good to end the quarrel. Gotta build a world's fair tent. Several tents, actually. May have invested in too many tents. Still, we won. Sure, some cities are starving, but overall these are the good old days. The bad days are back. The car broke down. Isabella declared war. George Washington joined her. The internet is laggy. War is great. Lots of angry red text. Lots of skyscrapers in 1850 AD. Here's the thing. You broke the city connection. We had to get it back. Gotta get Gatling guns. Gonna grow the gunnery. George saw the scary army amass. But ten turns later, it went violent again. Turns out a few countries were angry. Long story short, G-Town is lost after an endless onslaught. But a citadel appeared to claim a bit of dignity. The Eastern Empire was heavily hit but stands strong. Understandable results from a pre-war battle. Spain won't stop, but India and the USA are constantly re-attacking. Archaeologists race to an antiquity site in the north. Isabella's athletes are the best, yes. We were too busy building banks and museums. Because money. Finally have some cash flow. Just enough to give hope. Self-esteem goes up even higher when the wonderful people list is revealed. Take that, America. Gandhi, you're causing a roller coaster of emotions. Isabella, I want your money. Need it to fund the war against India. The soldiers never stop. Washington is a bro in the time of need. He'll even attack the bad guys. Too bad he has no units nearby. Good thing there's Gatling guns. Tibet is split up, but the mountains still give refuge. They're enough of a bother to get Gandhi to sort of be polite. Yeah, just calm down, guy. You don't get nothing. Tibet got a golden age. Gotta utilize the bonuses for good. Made it to the 90s, Oxford University in four turns. Cancelled it until radar is done. Move on to the epic. Now free rocketry. Free everything would be nice. Free eras from free satellites. Give Tibet back G-Town. Or at least let him visit. But he says no. Did I mention Gandhi has uranium? Things get serious when Gandhi has uranium. Northern Tibet is defendable and thriving. Hometown gets a hydro plant. Convince George to destroy those dressed in red. Long live blue and green. Tibetan green, not Indian green. It seems George had no issues removing Spain from the map. That's kind of scary. He also went interstellar, but we're not done. Breaching the borders once blue shows weakness. Not yet. Ah, the American army isn't intimidated. They have giant death robots and don't care about the Tibetan restricted airspace. Seriously angry soldiers. Better watch out for the Gatling gun. Sometimes you have to say goodbye. Sometimes wars come back to haunt you. It seems the world is against Tibet. India is moving in for the kill. America manages to take the capital, but it's not over till it's over. The text reveals Tibet is outnumbered. Attacks from every direction. Divert resources down south. Everyone is safe down south. Seems the enemy knows a boat down south. Greetings, Gandhi. I for one welcome our new Indian overlords.